Hey everyone, um, in this short video, I'll just be showing and explaining how you can uh, inject or put your own Python code into an executable. Also note that this won't work with every app. It mostly works with the default Windows apps like Command Prompt, Notepad, that sort of apps. But if you want to have a look at how to inject actual code into like, I don't know, Discord or any other app, uh, I'll have a link in the description with the documentation to PyMem, the module we'll be using to inject code. But it's a bit more complicated. But anyway, let's just download PyMem. So open up command prompt and you can type pym uh, line m pip install pymem or just pip install pymem. Depends if you have pip as a variable. But anyway, uh, it should install it. I already have it installed, so it says it's already satisfied. And now let's start coding. So first off, we're gonna import pymem. And that's, we're also going to need sub process. I'm going to show, it's not necessary, but I'm going to, um, you're gonna see why in a few moments. And I don't think we need OS, but just in case, let's also import it. Now, um, you can also inject this into command prompt. I've tried uh, injecting Python code into command prompt and notepad and work with both fine. But as I said in the title, we're going to be doing it with notepad. So first off, we have to uh, make a variable, which will be the memory, like the memory of the executable, the actual uh, code of the executable. So mem will be equal with pymem, the pymem, which is the class name, and we're, we'll be classing, uh, we'll be uh, passing as an argument the process we want to read the memory of. So, notepad.exe. You can see a list of your processes in the task manager. As you can see here, I have OBS Studio and Python and Task Manager and Windows Explorer, and yeah, and here are um, background processes. So, anyway, we're going to be opening Notepad from these processes. Now, let's uh, now we have to inject a Python interpreter into the um, into the executable, so into Notepad, because otherwise we can't just inject Python code into Notepad, Notepad because it has no idea how to read it. So we can do mem dot inject underscore Python underscore interpreter, and we don't have to pass any arguments. Now we can just write the code, which we will be you, which we, we will be injecting into notepad.exe or the process you put in here. So code will be equal to, and put in three double quotes and at the end also three double quotes. And in between these uh, double quotes, we can write the code. So because I want this to be a short video, I'm just going to uh, make it inject a code which will open a small window, but you could literally inject whatever you want. You can literally code a game in Python and inject it into Notepad. But anyway, so I'm just going to import tkinter as tk and window will be equal with tk.tk and win.main loop. So this short code here will just create a window and we'll be injected this, injecting this into Notepad. So now it's time for the actual injecting part. part. So mem, the memory, dot inject Python underscore shell code. Now we only have to pass as an argument our code. So the variable you named here, I named my code. Now this is it. This is literally it. It's this simple. But this will give you an error if you run it right now, as you can see. I'll run it and it says Mo uh, process not found. If you open Notepad and run this, it will work. But let's say we want to let's say we want we want this to run no matter what, even if Notepad is not open. So what we can do is open up Notepad if it is not open using the sub process module. So we'll be using a try and accept statement. So try and accept statements. If you don't know what they are, they basically you put a try and it tries to do something. So it tries to find a notepad in the processes and read its memory. And if it fails, we can type accept. So if it throws an error, this is what will make it happen. So if it throws an error, we will make it open it. So sub process dot p open, and we can just pass in notepad.exe. And we also have to read its memory because don't forget, if it fails to do this, it will try to do this. 
So it, uh, if we just leave it like this, it won't read its memory, and it will say mem is not a var not variable not declared. So anyway, this is it. Um, we can just run it to test it out. As you can see, it opened up Notepad and it ejected the code into Notepad, which creates a small window. Now uh, I'll explain a bit what we did over here. We also don't actually need the OS module. So here we try to read the memory. So the bytes of notepad.exe, you can also type in like CMD that actually also works. Okay, so we're trying to read the code of this, um, of this application we put in here. Then if it fails, it will open it and then read its memory. Okay. After that, it will inject a Python interpreter. Remember, as I said in the beginning, this won't work with every single app. It mostly works with the default Windows apps and more uh, simple apps. Anyway, and here we wrote the code which we will be injecting. And here is where we actually inject the code. So this is it. As you can see, it also works with CMD. And yeah. Um, if you want to see more of these type of videos uh, where about um, e injecting code into executables and all that sort of stuff, maybe even with hacking or that like that, um, comment it below and source code will be in the description. Thanks for watching.